empirical rule by definition is an approximation of proportions of observations within a normal distribution. So this particular rule in statistics will only apply for distribution that are bell-shaped curve. And according to the empirical rule, 68% of the or the observation will fall within one standard deviation away from the mean. And 95% of the observation will fall within one two standard deviation away from the mean. And the last partition, which is 99.7%, means that or 99.7% of the observation will fall within three standard deviation away from the mean according to the empirical rule. Now, this particular rule only applies for a normally distributed distribution or a bell-shaped curve. Now, in our first example, the distribution of heights of young women aged 18 to 24 years old is approximately normal with mean of 64 inches and standard deviation of 2.5 inches. Now, find the distribution of the proportions of young women within 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations from the mean. Now, this is basically using the empirical rule, and we're going to find the range of values that will fall within the first second, and the third distribution or range of values based on our standard deviation. So to find our first percentage or proportion, which is 68%, it simply means the total number of observations would fall within one standard deviation away from the mean. So we will find the range of values that will fall under the first category. So we have our standard deviation of 2.5, and since we're looking on the range of values of 68% between one standard deviation. So we'll have mu plus one times the standard deviation, which will give us the upper limit of our range of values on our 68% rule. So we have 64 plus one times 2.5, which gives us 66.5 inches. So this is our upper limit for our first standard deviation. And for the lower limit, we have mu or the mean minus one standard deviation or one times standard deviation, which gives us 64 minus one times 2.5, which is equal to 61.5. So this is our first range of values that will fall under our first partition right here, which is one standard deviation away from the mean, which means that 68% of young women's height is between 61.5 inches and 66.5 inches according to the empirical rule. Now, if we're going to find the distribution or the proportion of women um, that is two standard deviation away from the mean, we'll just do what we did on our first step, which is to find the range of values of the women or the heights of women that will fall under two standard deviation away from the mean. So we have two standard deviation plus mu is equal to twice of 2.5 plus 64, which gives you 69 inches. And that this is for the upper limit of our second range of values. And for the lower limit, we have two standard deviation minus mu, which is equal to two times 2.5 minus 64, which is 59 inches. So therefore, 95%, according to our empirical rule, of young women's height is between 59 inches and 69 inches based on a normally distributed curve. And for our last range of values, we're now looking at a bigger range of values because now we're moving on to one, two, and three standard deviation away from the mean. And we're basically trying to capture the range of values inside this particular partition. So to do that, we have three standard deviation plus mu is equal to three times 2.5 plus 64 inches, which gives us the upper limit of our distribution, which is 71.5. And for the lower limit, we have three standard deviation minus mean, which will give us 56.5. So therefore, the 99.7% point of young women's height is between 56.5 inches and 71.5 inches, which is a bigger range of values compared to letter B, because now we're using three standard deviation in this particular distribution. And this is how we use the empirical rule in finding the range of values that fall within the first 
or the or one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations away from the mean.